Hey everyone, I have finished the porchetta and it is awesome. It is a super guilty pleasure to be eating this, but it's really, 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 really good. So I wanted to, as I promised, get back with you and show you what the final product looks like. So it did take me two and a half hours to cook at 425 degrees Fahrenheit. Every half hour, I'm rotating the porchetta. You could do it every hour if you want, but um, if you can, every half hour. Um, partway through, I would baste the outside of the skin with some of the white wine, which turned out to be great because it helped to crispen it up in the oven. And um, after that, I took it out. <clears throat> I'm letting it rest. And I also took all that goodness that was left in the pan and um, just sprinkled a little flour in, a little white wine to deglaze the pan, and um, added a little of the juices from the pan and, um, and some chicken stock and have come up with an absolutely delicious uh, gravy to serve with the pork. So let me show you what this looks like. This is the porchetta. And you can see it's beautifully crisped on the outside with the nice charred bubbling uh, skin or pork rind at this point on the outside. You can see what the roll looks like. Just like that. Isn't that gorgeous? So beautiful. I hope you think so. And um, I made a second one, as you know, and this is what it looks like with the skin removed. So you just see that top layer of uh, luxurious fat. And then here we have the inside, you can see. And then I took the skin off and I have the nice crispy crackly skin. This stuff is like candy. And then the gravy reduction. Super, super, super beautiful. Let me just show you how good that is. Mmm. Delicious. Really, really good. And then um, my favorite is the little pork rind. To eat with the pork, dipped in the gravy. Mmm. So good. So think about making this at home. If you do, leave me a comment. Let me know how it turns out. Anyway, juice, take care. Bye.